Do you need to send an offer letter to a candidate? Let me show you how with JotForm Sign. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. So the first thing you wanna do is go up to the very top left-hand corner where it says my forms and let's change this over to my signed documents. Next, I'm gonna click on the create signed document button. And if you already have a PDF version of this offer that you would like to utilize, you can use the upload document option. If not, and you want to create one within JotForm, we can always utilize a template. And that's what I'm gonna do today. Now, if you have an idea of what you want this to be about or look like, you can always utilize the search option at the top, or you can utilize the types and industries over on the left-hand side. I'm gonna go ahead and just search for job offer at the top. And we'll utilize this first one, the job offer letter. All right, before I do anything, I always like to take a quick scroll just to see what I'm working with. So I can see here that there's two different colors. There is an orange, which is going to be me as the person who is offering the job. And then we have the purple, which is going to be the candidate. Now we can click on any field and we can see right here, the purple is employee and the orange is me. If we need to add another person who is going to be signing, we can do that as well. But as of right now, everything looks good with this. If you're utilizing a template like this and you need to add something in, maybe it's missing a field that you need, over on the left-hand side, you can choose add fields. And this is very similar to the JotForm form builder. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's say we need an email right here. And you can see as soon as I dropped it into the document, the properties menu open on the right hand side. And here I can change it maybe to the employee, we can change the name, we can make it required or not. And then we have some other options up here. But that's how you add in an additional field. For this, I don't need that. So I'm going to go ahead and X out right here. And let's head up to the tabs at the top, we have settings, If we need to change the title of this we can, we have the email settings. So if we need to change the subject, or if you want to make sure to add in a message for every party involved, please sign ASAP. And if you have any integrations, you can utilize that as well. Now, if we jump to the send option, we can see that it is going to automatically populate me in as the employer. So we need to add in the employee. So let me go ahead and do that now. Now we can see at the end of each person, we have a key and we have a message bubble. Now the key is going to be a password or a passcode. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one, two, three for this. This. And then we also have that message bubble. This is going to be if you want to add a message to a specific person. So it's going to be kind of like a private message. So we had the one in the settings tab It's going to go to everyone. This one's just going to go to my employee. So I'm going to give this the opportunity to let them know their passcode. And you can see since the passcode and the message option are both being used, you can see they have both changed to blue. Now we also have some more options if you need an expiration date, if you need reminder emails, or maybe a signer delegation, you can do that. I'm going to go ahead and turn a signer delegation off because I want the person who is accepting this to be the one who signs it. Now, if I head back over to recipients, if I hit send to sign right now, both me and the employee are going to get this at the exact same time. And that's not what I want to happen. I wanna make sure that I get it first so I fill in all the important details. And then when I'm done, they get it to accept and sign. In order to do that, we're gonna turn on signing order right here. And you can see right now, I am perfect. If we needed to move it, if maybe we were down here at the bottom, you can always use these dots to move it. So now I will get it first to fill out, then my employee will. So let's go ahead and send to sign. So we can see here who exactly it went to and also who has a passcode. So let's go ahead, jump over to the emails and see what this looks like from there. All right, so we are in my email and we can see the general message that everyone's going to get. Please sign ASAP. So I'm gonna click on the review and sign document button. And we have, it did say 19 fields, but it pre-populated some for me. So now I'm down to 14 fields. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump down to the bottom. Let's do this required one right here. And then our signature one is pretty awesome. So if you want, you can hit the next button right here and it's gonna automatically sign it for you. If you wanna change the style, you can do that, even the color, or if you'd prefer, you can draw your signature. Perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign and complete and then accept and send. And let's head to my employee's email. And we see that please sign ASAP, the general message to everyone, but we also see that my passcode is 123. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the review and sign document button. And we'll enter in our passcode and validate. And it looks like it jumped down from three to two fields. Let's head on to the bottom. We'll do our date and then our signature. Now, since this is the last field for me to complete, it's gonna automatically sign a complete for me right here and accept and send. 
Now I want to head back over to JotForm and up at the top left, instead of Sign Builder, let's jump over to our inbox. And we can see in our inbox, we have a bunch of tabs across the top, but we can go ahead and go to completed because both parties have officially signed it. And if we scroll down, we have the job offer letter, but we also have an additional page. We have an audit trail, and this is going to let us know where this document went and how long it took in between each stage. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about utilizing JotForm Sign to send an offer letter to a candidate, let us know, and I'll see you next time.